that just fly by itself? Yep, you saw that right. The clip you just watched wasn't CGI or visual trickery. It was real footage captured by this tiny drone that you can control with just your hand gestures. Meet DJI's newest creation, the DJI Neo 2. This compact little flyer brings a big leap forward, packing in fresh technology and upgraded features while keeping the simple design of its predecessor. But the real question is, how well does it perform? Let's break it down and take a closer look at the Neo 2 from four key angles. Image quality, tracking, obstacle avoidance, and flight performance. A quick shout out to my tech partner from China for sharing this video. A big thank you for making this possible. Hey everyone, it's Mickey from Tech Makey. If you love staying updated with the latest gadgets, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our exciting tech content. The Neo 2 comes equipped with a brand new one half inch image sensor. Even though the size hasn't changed, its performance now stands toe to toe with other drones in the same class. The main issue with the first generation Neo's camera was its single axis gimbal. Since it could only stabilize on the pitch axis, it struggled to correct the image distortion that happened when the drone tilted sideways. To keep shots steady, the software had to crop the edges and sharpen the image, which meant losing some quality. Now, the Neo 2 solves that problem with an added roll axis, physically stabilizing side-to-side -side movement. That means no more heavy cropping, sharper details, and smoother footage. Plus, DJI has bumped up the aperture to f2.2, letting in more light, and upgraded the recording capability to 4K at 100 frames per second. The results? Crisp detail, vibrant colors, and clarity that rivals drones in the same range, and under good lighting, it even brushes close to what higher-end models can deliver. That said, the smaller sensor does show its limits in post-production flexibility and low-light performance, so it's not ideal for nighttime shots. Still, when it comes to overall imaging, the Neo 2 definitely meets, and in some cases exceeds expectations for its category. To handle those bigger 4K files, DJI also boosted internal storage to 49 gigabytes, which gives you around 100 minutes of 4K 60fps recording. File transfer speeds have been improved too, now up to 80 megabytes per second, meaning a 1 gigabyte clip transfers in just a few seconds. Smooth, fast, and super convenient, DJI nailed the data handling experience here. And remember how the old Neo could only track people? It was fun, but kind of limited, like a flying robot pet. The Neo 2 changes that completely. It's now capable of tracking vehicles at speeds up to 40 kilometers per hour, and it even lets you freely customize flight paths, just like more expensive drones. So even if you're new to aerial photography, this little machine can help you capture some seriously impressive shots. But here's where it gets really cool. The Neo 2 doesn't need a remote controller or even your phone anymore, because you are the controller. Bring your hands together to zoom in, spread them apart to zoom out, and clench your fist to make it stop. You can even guide it with one hand to adjust its direction and altitude. It's intuitive, futuristic, and honestly feels magical. Like the first time Steve Jobs used his fingers instead of a stylus to pinch zoom on the original iPhone almost two decades ago. Gesture control isn't just convenient, it changes how you interact with the drone entirely. And that's not all. The Neo 2 also has a built-in display and side buttons, letting you tweak detailed flight parameters right on the drone itself. Tap the adjustment button to switch settings, hold it down to change distance, height, or angle. Then just point the camera at yourself, hit the takeoff button, and it captures your shot automatically based on your chosen setup. On top of the six existing navigation modes, DJI added two new ones. First, the intelligent selfie mode, which captures six different perspectives and takes up to five photos per angle. No more awkwardly asking strangers for help at tourist spots. The second is the dramatic west zone demanding zoom mode a challenging navigation feature that the Neo 2 handles effortlessly, delivering cinematic shots with precision. In real-world testing, the DJI Neo 2 showed some serious upgrades in tracking and environmental adaptability. It barely ever loses its target, even when people move quickly around corners. Whether it's flying over water or hovering in tricky spaces, it stays stable and reliable, a big step forward in safety. Now, you might be thinking DJI finally add obstacle avoidance? Well, they didn't just add it, they went all in. The, the Neo 2 comes equipped with LiDAR and omnidirectional obstacle avoidance, features usually reserved for high-end drones. But here's the twist. Um, a closer look shows that the LiDAR handles forward obstacle detection, while only two fisheye sensors, one on top and one underneath, 
cover the remaining five directions. In other words, DJI switched from the usual binocular vision system to a monocular vision approach, which is quite different from traditional drone setups. Given the drone's small size and price range, this simplification makes sense. The real question though is, can this system actually perform well? Can it handle nighttime obstacle avoidance and even return home without GPS? Let's find out. The test environment was no joke, full of obstacles that could trip up any drone. You could almost imagine the Neo 2's processor sighing as it got to work. But to its credit, the Neo 2 navigated smoothly thanks to its omnidirectional obstacle avoidance and false night protection system. It only got caught once in a dense patch of tree branches, which forced it to stop and automatically initiate a return to home. What's cool is that instead of retracing its path, it actually climbed over the obstacle to find a safe way back. So yes, this simplified obstacle avoidance system proves to be surprisingly dependable. It's not as precise as binocular vision, but during daytime flights, it managed full 360 degree avoidance without a single failure. In low light conditions, the forward facing LIDAR still performed impressively, even completing some complex tracking maneuvers. However, obstacle detection in the other directions struggled a, a bit, so nighttime flying definitely requires extra caution. As for the satellite free return to home that didn't quite work out in testing, the drone returned to the last known GPS coordinate instead of the actual takeoff spot. Now, some might wonder, since the first gen Neo already had an omnidirectional false night protection shield, was it really necessary to add this new obstacle avoidance system? The answer is yes. The Neo 2 might already be tough enough to survive bumps and crashes, but this upgrade isn't just about protecting the drone, it's about protecting everything around it. Even if it avoids hitting people, wouldn't you rather it gently bump into a plant instead? This system just makes flying that much safer. When comparing the motors of the Neo 2 with its predecessor, they may look identical, but don't be fooled. Power has been significantly boosted. Tests showed it can reach speeds of 12 meters per second in both auto follow and manual flight modes. It now has level 5 wind resistance, putting it in line with most mainstream drones. While it's not built for extreme power, it's more than capable for everyday flying and shooting scenarios. The maximum ascent and descent speeds are 5 meters per second up and 3 meters per second down. Not blazing fast, but decent enough for casual aerial shots. To support the power and performance upgrades, the battery capacity has been increased by around 10%. DJI rates the charger at 65 watts, but real-world testing showed it peaking above 70 watts, which was a pleasant surprise. It can charge three batteries at once, with a single battery charging fully in about 33 minutes. All three batteries from zero to full take under 70 minutes, and as long as your charger outputs 65 watts or more, you can cycle through them continuously without worrying about range. In actual flight tests, one fully charged battery lasted around 15 minutes under normal flying conditions before landing at 0%. When flying at sport speed, that dropped to about 10 minutes while under intelligent tracking, a single battery handled roughly 20 flights. So what's the verdict? Uh, everyone's opinion will depend on what they value most. Some veteran drone users might find the image quality just average, while others might wish for a bit more battery life. But overall, it's hard to deny that the DJI Neo 2 is one of the best choices for beginners. It offers great image quality, simple operation, reliable safety, and a reasonable price, a combination that's rare to find in one package. It's not just a flying camera, it's a full-fledged drone that even lets you experience the excitement of racing-style flight when paired with goggles and a joystick. One thing to note, though, the Neo 2's O4 image transmission system uses an external module. The standalone version doesn't have that module on the back, which means you can't connect it directly to a remote controller. That's why I personally recommend going for the singing and flying kit. It's the more complete and dependable option. So what did you think of the Neo 2? Which feature impressed you the most? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I'd love to hear your take on this little flying marvel.